Hi, it's Amanda, the Nail Polish Hound, and welcome to another Topic Tuesday. This week's topic is brand firsts, the first polishes that you had from a brand. Now, I've been collecting nail polish for quite a while now, and so I don't really remember what order I got my mainstream polishes in, um, and I didn't keep track of it at that point. Um, So what I'm including for you this week is a selection of some of my indie nail polishes that I remember um, the order that I got them in. First of all, we have got Amy by Princess Nail Lacquer. Um, Unfortunately, at the moment, at least Princess Nail Lacquer are not making nail polish. Um, This one was a gift from Claire Gray, and it was released in 2017, um, and it is described as an autumn holographic nail polish. Next we have the first Danglefoot nail polish that I got and it is called I'm Gonna Wreck It and this is a deep chocolate brown linear holographic with a red to copper shimmer and this was released in 2018. Where I have got swatch pictures for these polishes I will include them. Next we have my first Sister Chic nail polish and this was given to me by George of George's Nails 83 and it is from the 2018 Christmas Classics collection described as a bright blue with silver shimmer and silver glitter hexes. Next we have a brand that is fairly new to my nail polish collection, it is polished for days and although it was released in 2018 I got this one in 2019. It is called Fireflies and it is a navy base packed with orange to green iridescent flakies, orange to green shifting micro flakies and scattered tiny holographic micro flakes. Then we have um, Candy Apple by 9-0. This is one of my top polishes. Um, I got it in 2016 and it was released in 2015 as part of the Harvest Festival collection. It is a berry magenta linear holographic and the holographic is very strong in this one. Some old swatch pictures here for this one. It was one of the earlier polishes that I swatched for Instagram. These pictures were taken in direct sunlight, so they really show off the hollow. Next we have a England Briarwood, and I think this one was released in 2013. It is a dark red duochrome that shifts deep red to chocolate brown with a scattered holographic finish. I think I bought this one around about 2016 to 2017. This is such a beautiful polish and I cannot believe it's been so long since I've worn it. It's staying out and I'm going to be wearing it again very soon. Now I think this one was my first Ard as Nails polish. Uh, It is Twilight and was gifted to me in 2018 by Claire Gray. It's from the 2017 Oh So Shifty collection. It is a colour shifting polish that shifts blue to purple um, to red with a fine scattered hollow finish. Then we've got Tutti Frutti by Polish Me Royalty and again at the moment unfortunately Polish Me Royalty are not producing any nail polish. I love this brand and it was the first indie that I bought a lot of polishes from and this one in particular goes from a pinky lilac colour through to a lavender shade and it is extremely pretty on the nails. It used to be smelly, um, it's probably lost its smell by now. Again, quite an old swatch picture. Next we have my first ILMP polish and this is a boutique nail brand and uh, this is the classic Cygnus Loop. It is uh, one of their ultra chrome polishes and it shifts through bright purple to orange to yellow and you can even get a little bit of green on the edge of the bottle there. It is a truly beautiful polish. 
I bought this one in around 2016, but I think it was originally bought out in 2013. Next we've got Hollow Queen, the hollow version from the Fun Lacquer Simply Neological collaboration in 2016 and this one is a magenta purple hollow glitter in a clear base with linear holographic pigment. I loved this one at the time um, but I'm not so much into um, glitters in a clear base anymore, they are quite hard work. Pretty though this is, it's not one that I wear at the moment. Next we have got Emily de Molly's Ornate Print and this is another brand that I only really got into last year in 2019 and this one is a dark grey crelly filled with iridescent flakes in orange to gold to green and also in blue to purple. Um, when you look at the polished bottle side on you really get a feel for the different um, look of the iridescent flakies in this polish. And finally another brand that I only got into last year, this is my first ethereal lacquer polish and it is Moonlit Orchid from the Moonlit range and it is a warm violet leaning orchid jelly base loaded with gold to orange to green shifting flakes and it is truly beautiful and I love the different sizes and shaped shard like effect um, of the flakies in this polish. So that's just a few of my uh, firsts from independent nail polish brands. Um, I have other indie brands that I couldn't remember which the first polish was from them. Um, so these are the first ones that just came to mind for this topic. If you enjoyed this video, why not join us over on Instagram? Um, you can join in there or you can do videos on YouTube if you wish. So I hope you will do that and also maybe give me a like and subscribe on my channel. I would love to see you again.